Good morning, art friends. Today we're gonna be making a guitar. Almost in like an abstract kind of way. So today I'm actually gonna be using my fat Sharpie. Woo -woo. And then I'll use my medium Sharpie for these tinier details on the inside. Alrighty, my friends. So first what we're gonna start with is this very tippy top part. This is how you tune the string. So I'm gonna start with a line across. And I do a squiggly line, kind of like if it was a stretched out letter S. And then I repeat the squiggly line, but I do it the opposite way. So if this one curves this way, this one's gonna curve the other way. So that way it goes in at the same spot and it goes out at the same spot too. Okay, and then just close that off. Now I'm gonna make the handle. Now because it's an abstract, abstract art is just lines, shapes, and color baby color. So with this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a wiggly, not super wiggly, but a wiggly, line, repeat it on the other side, bring it down a little bit, alrighty, and then I'm going to close that off, right now it looks like a fire hose, <laughs> so then I'm going to do the body of the guitar, so I'm doing a curved line, you could make an indent, and then I'm going to ghost line it over to the other side, and it's okay if it goes off the page. Okay. Now I'm gonna make the hole and this is where the sound travels in the guitar. It makes it echo. Alright, now because we can see on the inside, we want to give it that 3D. So this tells us this is how thick the wood is on top. Okay, so now we're gonna draw this part up at the top. And I'm using the tip of my big fat sharpie. I'm gonna draw the strings down, but as you guys can see, because the handle right here is wiggly, we're gonna make our strings wiggly too. So it's gonna come down, all the wiggles. And it's gonna go all the way past that part right there. And if you guys can fit as many strings as you want in here, I only got three in my last drawing. So I'll just keep it to three. Alrighty, so now that we have our guitar done, we're going to add these little metal pieces to it. This helps to tune it. Normally the strings are tied up to them. Now I showed you a trick yesterday with the candles when we overlap something by accident or if we added it later and it cuts through the object, you can just add line designs and that kind of fills in that space. So, all I'm doing is drawing the little metal pieces right now. And normally there's as many as there are strings, because it's to tune the strings, so. I did four even though I got three strings. That's art for you. All right, so now I'm gonna add those lines in there with my big fat Sharpie. So now what I'm going to do is add the detail going on around it. Um, I use these lines to like emphasize sound or make it look like sound was coming out. And then I actually even drew some notes. Now I'm no music teacher like Miss Blackman, but I do remember some musical notes from when I used to take choir. And because it's going off the page, the other one's going to be right there. And then I'll do some over here, kind of like a little fancy one. Doop, doop. Do one after two. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna do the little wiggly lines and that's gonna show that the music's playing. It's just a wiggly line. And the lines over here. Do some right here to fill that space. Alright my friends, and that's how you make an abstract guitar. I hope you have a great day. I miss you. Bye!